Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Calls87, but you can call me Sam, and today is episode 5, in which we will do a time lapse of the interior of the castle, well, at least part of it, and uh, a little uh, aerial battle, if that's the right word. Um, so, Ask V and I were working on the interior, and all of a sudden, he kind of just it came through the air and hit me with a sword and so it has kind of escalated from there I have it all on replay mod so um, we will get to that but first I would like you to watch and enjoy this time-lapse Now that you have watched the time lapse, um, I would like to head into the replay mod editor itself and show you the fight. And then I will maybe edit it because it's kind of hard. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and head into the uh, replay mod editor itself. Okay, so I started recording after he uh, came in and hit me and knocked me off here. So uh, as you can see, this is uh, how far I got before we started doing this. And uh, I know the chat is a bit annoying, but it uh, won't go away. Anyways, let's turn on cinematic mode and unpause it. And there I go. But uh, Ask Vig kind of just went in here and hid. Because I can't hear it. Oh, look, here I go. See, and then I'll knock him off, fly away. And then it just turns into a full on battle. See, we're just kind of going through. And, uh, see, like, this is like the most epic part because we just, like, kind of kept on, um, going at each other. And, uh, I know I'm not doing very good camera work right about now, but, uh,. Let's see, where was he at? There's, there he is. What, what is he doing? Oh, this is where he uh, kind of fell, and there, there, there he goes. There he goes. And then, then he died again. Um, and yeah, then I had to, and so I'm gonna pause this now because at this point, oh, I have no F5 mode, but uh, in any case. At that point, we I had to go down, get his items, and fumble through, and uh, this is what he saw. Nothing. Ask for from a high place. That's all he saw. But anyways, let me edit a little bit of this and make it maybe into like an actual fight scene. I think uh, that could be potentially really cool. So let me do that really quick, and I shall return.
So let me cut in right about here. At this point, Ask Big was like, oh, I'm on a half a heart, you know, and he was like, and he was like, I'm on a half a heart, don't hit me. And then I flew down and then it was, then it was just, if you heard the sheer terror in his voice, it was so funny. I wish I would have had my recording software up, but uh, yeah, anyways, I didn't hit him. All right, so now that you've seen that, uh, you might have wondering, you might be wondering what that clump of trees is over there that I was standing on earlier. Well, I'll show you. These signs just say cool trees do not touch, so they're not important. Um, if I go up here, go up here, lag's pretty bad right now. So, uh, click the lever, open this up. I know, bare redstone, it's bad. But, uh, you can see there's this little campsite that, uh, it's got a few things cooking. And it says the Grim Reaper's campsite. Well, you might be saying, well, that don't really fit the Grim Reaper. Well, somewhere in here leads to this down here. Now, I am the only one who knows where this is. Well, Vaura found it, but I had to move it. And uh, I had to move a couple of the entrances. But the reason why that fits the um, Grim Reaper's theme is because this goes to this down here. And uh, yeah, so I've been doing a little bit of work off camera and uh, this leads up to Grim Reaper Stone, which I don't have the Grim Reaper skin on right now. So I mean, doesn't matter. But um, yeah, this took a lot of black concrete, which took a lot of diamonds and uh, took a few flint and steels to light this up. I uh, probably could have used campfires, made smoke come out, make it look better. Um. Or maybe use the fog effect with some black and red glass. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. You might be wondering where that goes. Well, that goes to the exit. And I cannot show you where that is because people would be, uh, coming in and out of it all the time. So, uh, let's clip to where we're back outside. Right, so now that we are back out, I have discovered uh on my way out that uh, vara has uh been nosy and poking around at the old entrance so um yeah i would prefer him not do that but anyways i'm sure y'all want to see the castle because since the time lapse there has been a bit of progress done uh like these blackstone stairs i don't know what the blackstone's for but it helped me get villagers in here because i'll show you in a second if i come into here place these real quick um yeah so up there somewhere over there is where we did the uh time lapse and this is now the bottom floor and there is a staircase which is very annoying uh and apparently a hole um but yeah so i think aspig made this design it's pretty cool but uh it's been annoying to get up so i mean looks over functionality with this one so i mean it is pretty cool but um yeah so what i said about villagers earlier i brought some in here for if i can get around this corner this right here all these people people these villagers are very annoying and they have gotten out more times than i can count but has this guy been throwing no it doesn't I put a villager breeder here and it doesn't look like um the farmer has been giving them the stuff and you have to go back to where you came from I guess for now until I'm done with this clip I'll just kind of block him in uh get over there get over there ah um, I don't know what to do with this guy. Uh, if I can get out of fly mode. Uh, this is awkward. Ping is at four bars. That is a big fat lie because I know it's not. Uh, yeah, this is interesting. Oh, connection timed out. Yep, that's what I thought. Give me a second. 
All right, so I relogged and it's uh it's fine. Got him blocked in because for whatever reason they keep coming out and I don't know exactly why, but uh they just do. Um yeah, anyways, there's something else that is uh going on in the shopping district that I want to go ahead and uh get over to. Oh, and um Askvig has taken down my big tall portal and made this new one over here i like the design except if you go through here which i will do really quickly um just to show if you go out here right um you have to use a ladder to get up and you have no idea how much of a pain it is to get up to the roof like this but uh anyways let me get to the shopping district and i will uh I'll be right back all right so here at the shopping district if i go this way who is that ah um fk oh nope never mind hello i believe this is our newest member so uh yeah anyways because i've been hard at work at the diamonds so uh yeah, anyways, let's head over to these, uh, this place over here. All right, so now that we are over here, um, this is something, and, uh, I'm not recording to read signs. So, in other words, this is just head games. And, uh, I have signed up along with, uh, a couple of other people, and why did, what? Someone removed my sign. Um, do they happen to put it somewhere else? Nope, I think somebody just removed it to, uh, remove it. And I do not have a spruce sign. I have plenty of oak, though, so I have to, uh, do for now. And, um, yeah, so this is head games, right? And, uh... What you do, you collect heads and get points and things, and I haven't actually, uh, here's the point system, wait a minute, uh, way back, 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 point system is a complex thing and different heads give different points, if a certain head is abused, it might become pointless, okay, so you can't just farm a bunch of heads, um, such as the Ender Enderman, it would be pretty easy, this means you can still this means you can still enter the head, but you get zero points. Bounties and jackpot heads will be added. Um, why is the page not turning? I don't know. Okay, there we go. Nope, hold on. <laughs> Random, wait a minute. Just stopped in the middle of a sentence. Bounties and jackpot heads will be added randomly during the game. Entering your own head or member of your team gives you 0 0.5 points. The head may become more or more or less valuable during the game, and this will be made clear. The way points work per player head is complex, and it differs per team, and blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I just want to see how many points is what. Uh, it doesn't matter. I've got a bunch of heads. Uh, I'm just wondering if you need to put them in the barrel. Have other pe Okay, yeah, she just put them in the barrel. Uh, where's my ender chest? Um, there it is now. I have been, uh, doing some collecting off camera. Uh, I've got a bunch of, ah. I've got a bunch of heads, um, I found laying around. So, uh, yeah, I don't know why somebody removed my head. I think they're just doing that to, uh, do it. But, um... Yeah, so I'm going to start entering these heads. Alright, so now that I've entered all of that, this is how much we got. I don't know how many points we got. It does not matter. Uh, we'll find out in the end. Um, and this is the prize pool. I think it's 45 diamond blocks with uh, the total of four beacons. Uh, yes, four beacons. So this is a pretty good little prize um, that I want very much. But, uh, yeah, so, anyways, that's, uh, it for that, and you might be wondering why haven't I been recording anything with, uh, the Project Poseidon and the War and things like that. 
Um, that answer is simple. It just hasn't gotten kicked off yet. It's like they started a war and then and what they wanted to do and then it's just like it didn't do anything. Yeah, so uh anyways, yeah, I think I uh might end the episode there, so I uh, please uh hope you enjoyed. Uh please consider subscribing if you're new and uh like the video if you uh well liked it and uh I will see you in the next episode.